today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at the Disney Designer Collection Fairy Tale Series, a Disney Store exclusive. Ariel and King Triton! Yay! I absolutely love the Disney Designer dolls. And I really like how you don't have to pay a membership or be a part of some special group to get these exclusive dolls. You can try to get one online at DisneyStore.com on their release date or camp out at the Disney Store and hope to get one. So I guess there is still a little bit of work involved in getting one. And this year, I just haven't had time to go and try to compete for one of these dolls. Move out the way! They're mine! Ah! Yeah, it was getting bad. But the other day, I just happened to walk into the Disney store and they had one left! Yay! Oh, sorry, Carmen. Here, let me help you up. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Just walk it off. This designer doll is priced at $129.95. The Disney Designer Collection brings a life to your favorite characters, celebrating iconic moments throughout Disney's film history. Reflecting scenes of magic and adventure, Disney Store artists have captured these characters in unforgettable detail. Stories of heroism, friendship, and wonder span generations, creating a magical journey that continues to reach fans of all ages. The Disney Designer Collection will be a treasured keepsake for collectors and Disney fans alike. I am totally both. Let's open this up for a closer look. It's like impossible to get off. There we go. Inside of a large acrylic box, we have King Triton and Ariel. Look at that facial expression. He does not look happy. And Ariel has a different facial expression. I love this. You can even see Flounder and Sebastian at the bottom. Okay, so nobody looks very happy to be in this box. But they're not supposed to because this is the scene where King Triton finds out that Ariel has been hanging out with humans and even has like that statue in her little grotto. Ariel? But daddy! <laughs> yeah, she got in trouble that day. Hence the not so happy face. On the back of the box, there is a certificate of authenticity that states this doll is 3,578 out of 6,000. Wow! Now you know we are going to break the collector's rules and take this out of the box for a closer look. You got me breathing better than ever. I'm on. Every inch of these dolls are tied or rubber band into place. They don't want anything to move, which is why this is so painful. <sighs> Oh boy. But we can't get a really good look unless we remove them, so this has to be done. They used a lot of box space for these props, and I feel like they could have squeezed a statue of Prince Eric in there. You know, like right around there. Just saying, because that would have made this really awesome. Once the dolls have been removed, you can see that there are two doll stands. Flounder and Sebastian are attached to a rock. I seriously love these facial expressions. King Triton is wearing a large cape. There is a beautiful print on the inside, solid gray on the back, with brown cording around the edge. And there is a wire in the cape so that you can position it however you like. He has a fabric tail, and it's soft. You can see all the different layers in his scales. There is a wire inside to allow you to position it different ways. His fins are like embroidered pillows, and they have a wire in there too. And since his tail is made of fabric and wire, there is no chance for King Triton to walk on land anytime soon. He wears large gold-colored gauntlets with scales at the bottom holds the trident, which is green and gold. He wears a gold crown, has some awesome eyebrows, although I think his mustache is just a little off-center. His head can pivot on the neck. 
He can move at the shoulder, bend at the elbow, and wrist. And he cannot hold the trident without the assistance of rubber bands. But for the most part, he looks just like I think King Triton should look. Now this Ariel definitely has a different look than what I am used to. I think her body is smaller. I don't have one to compare her to because I turned my Ariel into a made to move. But here she is standing next to Moana. So yeah, there is definitely a height difference. She has a fabric tail with individual scales. Her fin is made out of cut, crimped material. There are two different colors, and on top of this one, you can see little tiny crystals. It velcros in the back and can be removed. She has dropped the traditional purple seashell top for a green and gold sculpted one of starfish, scales, seashells, and seaweed. It fastens in the back and can be removed. She has eyelashes. The head can pivot on the neck. She moves at the shoulder, elbow, wrist, torso, hips, and has a bend and snap knee. I would have liked to have seen a jointed knee there, just saying. But overall, I think the appeal of this doll is her facial expression. Ariel has always been one of my favorite Disney princesses to photograph because her face is so photogenic. And I think that is still true with this version of her. And honestly, I would like to see more of our favorite dolls come out with different facial expressions. And not always just different fashion. I think this is a unique addition to our collection with Ariel's facial expression and size. Let us know what you think about this look on Ariel in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now.